Today I'm just going to make you a quick, quick homemade stir fry, okay? Yeah, this no, one here uh, is dedicated uh, to uh, Gary J. Yes, yeah, this one I'm doing straight from the heart, straight to you on Facebook, straight to you on YouTube. Yeah. It's all about how easy you can just boil up some pastas with some vegetables and you can make yourself a lovely stir fry. And remember, it's all about the presentation, yeah? So you get one onion and you chop. I can see the changes. Sweet peppers. And chop. That's changing me and you. I can see the changes. See, I keep them long because I want feature. That was the red peppers I mean, and now I cut you some green ones. That's changing me and you. Alright, so as I said, this is for Facebook and YouTube. Miss Mary J. Here, chop your two garlic and just and chop them fine. Alright, no fingers, chop them nice and fine. Put that one tomato, a little, and again, to the square. My favorite, spring onions. I cut those to the side and I'm just going to cut those very fine as well. Alright, that's the spring onions. I've got some green beans that I've already cooked up here. I'm just going to just cut them three, not too fine just into three. Right? Here is some carrots and sweet. I've already half, half cooked them. You now you can do this from your Sunday leftover roast. You know, you grab all these stuff together and you can make a total different meal. So Miss Mary Jane, I hope you're paying attention, right? See, I haven't got a camera woman today to film it for me, so it's a still camera, but at least you're getting a nice close up on what's going on. Jeez, they are chicken sausages. I'm just gonna give them a nice decent slice. Right here, I've got some chicken breasts, which I've marinated already with some Chinese mixed spice. This is the spice that I've actually used on there. As you can see, Chinese mixed spice. A little bit of Polish spice, it's called vegeta. And I add a little tap of jerk seasoning to it, just a little tap. First thing we're going to add is the chicken breast to the pan. So, and do remember it's chicken breast, so it doesn't take long to cook, you know, chicken breast, as soon as you see it start to go white, you know that it's time to cook through, alright? So that is getting seasoned nicely now. I'm going to add just now the garlic. Alright, and just saute it off with that garlic now, so that it draws the flavour into the chicken from the garlic. That oil I'm going to pour off before you actually start to do the stir fry because one thing you don't want to do is have too much oil in there. As the fire is up, I'm going to add my spring onions, my sweet pepper and the onions. And all you're going to do is just idly fry that in. Alright, the vegetables are now getting soft as you can see. Yes, Miss Mary J, this is all for you here, yeah? Show you how easy it is to make up some nice meals at home. Spoil the kids, yeah? That's what we say. Next move I'm going to add to this straight away is the carrots, the swede, and the green beans. You know it's all about stir frying. The, meat, the vegetables must be still a bit crunchy. You don't want to make it too cooked and too soggy. We're going to add ourselves some chopped chicken sausages. So I'm going to add that to it now as well. Pull that in. Pull that over. Oh yes. Call the fire brigade, Miss Mary J. Next, final. I'm just going to add the tomatoes on top now and just leave that now and let it sizzle for a bit. Add a little bit more Chinese spice onto it because we only put it on the chicken so far. A little bit of vegeta, it's a Polish season, you can get it in any Polish shop. And some Caribbean seasoning, you can get it in any Caribbean shop. So I'm not going to overdo this one, so it's just going to be a little pinch. Okay, Miss Mary J, this is a folding in process now with your pasta now to make it that pretty little stir fry that you saw on Facebook. See how colorful that's starting to look now? I've added all the spices and you don't need to overdo it with any spice. You just want it to be a reasonable stir fry that it's 
enjoyable by young kids. Right, I'm sorry I didn't get to show you the process when I was pouring the oil up, but you have to pour the oil up so that you don't get too much of a greasy pasta. Some double cream. I reduce the fire, and I'm not a milk, a little tap. Of what it looks like so far. Look at that. See the texture on it? See it's a bit creamy? That's because of the double cream that I've just added to it. Now, it was a dedication for Miss Mary J. Yeah, non-stop calling your name because I want to show you how people can get dedicated and do something. Cooking is my passion. It's all about creative mind, yeah? So guys, thanks for watching. Miss Mary J, thanks for the, the request. And hopefully it's a homemade stir-fry made from what you got in your fridge. So what you gonna do when I'm famous? I know that in my heart you'll be nervous. The special places I go and the fancy clothes I will wear.